video. I'm super excited because this is the first of my many looks that I'll be featuring this week leading up to Valentine's. As you may have heard me mention in my last video, I like to do different makeup and hair looks that will lead up to Valentine's Day, um, showing you different styles that you can do or draw inspiration from. Anyway, this look is entitled Chocolate Berry Bay. Um, of course, I like to give these looks a theme, if you will, or some kind of title, something cute just to be fun and lead up to uh, Valentine's Day and help get you excited for it. So anyway, I wanted to do something fun, something youthful, um, so I thought outside of the box and did what I'm calling my little sweetheart curly buns, and I wanted to do something a little delicious. Um, but also keep it fun in daytime, so hence the eye and the lips. One of my favorite things to eat is like a raspberry chocolate truffle bar, and being that I just got this uh, shadow from ColourPop, it's called Drift, and that is what you see on the lower um, part of my lid. Um, I thought that this would be perfect to do something that reminded me of that dessert or that chocolate bar, so I hope that you will totally love this look. Stay tuned because I have looks coming all week long doing both makeup and hair and as you may have heard me announce, I will be straightening my hair this coming week and so that will, video will be thrown in here along with my Valentine's look. So definitely stay tuned for both curly and straight hair looks. I hope you will enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have not already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Please to my channel. So anyway, I hope that you will love the look. Make sure that you comment below and let me know which is your favorite throughout the week and also if you love the look. I will talk to you soon and hope you enjoy the video. Until the next one, happy Valentine's Day. First things first, let's start with this hair. So my hair is freshly co-washed, so it's actually still wet. After I co-wash in sections, I actually bantu knot each section just to keep it out of the way as I move on to the next. I'm gonna take all of these bantu knots and twist down. And then using my rat tail comb, I'm gonna start the hairstyle, parting directly down the center using my nose as a guide. Um, for the most part, my part will be straight, but it actually, you will see, won't be perfect, but that is the great thing about this hairstyle. So I'm gonna start by working on the first section and applying my Coils by Nature Shea Aloe Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner all over my hair. Um, I wanna make sure that my hair is very well coated with the product, starting with the ends and then working my way up to the roots. Then I wanna make sure I knock out any tangles with my fingers. Once my hair is detangled, I will begin to use my hands to smooth it up into a nice uh, semi-high ponytail. But first, I must add my Myel Organics Almond Oil all over my hair to add extra shine and lock in the moisture. Um, using my scrunchie, I'm just gonna rest it on my wrist while I'm smoothing my, hand in, my hair into a ponytail. First, I'll kind of knock out and help to smooth it and guide it all into a ponytail using my Demon brush. And then after that, I'll smooth it and make it look a little more sleek using my Soft Bristle Bore Bristle Brush. Man, I said that hard. Soft Bore Bristle Brush is what I meant to say. And then now I'm going to wrap my ponytail holder around only two times, actually three it was, since it's a smaller section. Then using my old toothbrush, I'm using um, the Argan Eco Styler Gel to smooth my edges down and then also sculpt um, to make it look like I have baby hairs. I want to have baby hairs so badly, but I really just don't have them, but I'm gonna fake it anyway. So then afterwards, I'm gonna take this hair and then um, roll it up now that I have both ponytails installed. So I rolled it up and then turned it on the side and then wrapped it around. This helps to give me height and volume within the bun. I don't want to make it too tight because I want the curls to make it look very textured. Now if you have shorter hair or just want more of an afro puff look, then it would be advantageous to brush out some of your curls so that they are not so defined and then it'll give you more of a textured look. 
Now, of course, I am loosely pinning with bobby pins to hold my bun in place and to help it shape the way that I want it to shape. And then pinning down any flyaways or anything like that. And that is what they look. I actually love, love, love these little buns. Now for the makeup. So I'm going to start by moisturizing my skin with my Cetaphil lotion. Then I have been using this lately and am actually loving it. I learned it from Nikki Tutorials. It is the Nivea Men's After Shave Balm and Sensitive. And for foundation, I'm actually going back to some old faithfuls and I I don't know why I stopped using them. I love them, love them, love them. And that is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. It actually has a primer in it, but I decided to um, still use the Nivea as my primer. Uh, the colors that I'm using are, I believe, Golden Tan and Classic Tan Mix. Mostly is a nice pump of the classic tan and then I put a couple of pumps of the golden tan small little pumps and then I blend it together on the back of my hand and then blend it using my off-brand beauty blender sponge to uh, just kind of put it in what I really love about this foundation is it gives a medium to full coverage and you can actually build it up which is what you saw me do was layer it so that I could have more of a full coverage now for the brows, I have changed it up and I've gotten a lot of compliments from you all, so thank you. Um, so I wanted to make sure I film me doing my brows so that you can see what my new routine is. I've been using this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the color Soft Brown. So I actually kind of fill it in. Of course, you can see that I get a little heavier in the um, outer portions of my brow and then a little thin in the inner portion. And then I carve it out as usual um, with a concealer. The concealer that I'm using is one by Sheer Cover Cosmetics. Um, I've actually been using this for a very long time to highlight my brows. And for an eyeshadow base, I've been using the NYX. Um, I believe the shade is Skin Tone um, of that one. So I did one eye off camera. And now I'm going in to do the other one. And then of course I'm applying the NYX eyeshadow base. To set my eyeshadow base or primer, I am using Mirage and Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, those shadows to kind of set. And then I'm following that up with the color Chickadee as my transition color in the crease using my M503 brush from Morphe. As you can see, I'm actually taking that chickadee a little bit higher above the crease to help transition it out. After that, I'm gonna follow up with Makeup Geek's Cupcake, Frap, and then Cocoa Bear. Now, I'm working more of uh, Frap and Cocoa Bear more so into the crease just a little bit above and below, um, just to kind of help give me a more of a gradient effect. And then as you can see, Cupcake is more has more of that little purplish tone, um, which I'm doing this because I want to make sure that I get that warm milk chocolate with a hint of a wine color um, to help give me a gradient effect and then just making sure that I'm blending all of the colors very, very well. So you notice that I'm actually still using the M503 brush from Morphe and you'll also notice that I'm actually dragging the color over into the inner portion of my lid um, and that is because I do want a bit of a dramatic eye and not for it to just be um, out to the side I guess. Um, I want to make sure that my eye is covered, my full lid, um, leaving the bottom half of my lid open and ready for the next color. Now I'm gonna follow up with my Morphe M200 brush, and I'm actually mixing uh, Mocha and Bitten, also by Makeup Geek, and I'm actually pressing that into, and blending, I should say, that into the crease, and that is to give me more definition for that area. The key here is to make it look very well blended, but also defined in the crease. So you'll see me using windshield wiper motions to get that done. Now for the star of the show, my ColourPop shadow in the color Drift. I sprayed my brush with setting spray just to help give me more of a metallic finish. Then to help it look more intense, I actually used my finger to pat it in um, just to give me more of an intense color. 
now to add a little more drama I'm taking that um, blending brush just to add a little more mocha and bitten then on the outer corners I'm taking makeup geeks corrupt which is a intense black just to help make it look a little more dramatic and well blended to highlight my brow bone I'm mixing makeup geeks cosmopolitan and shimmer shimmer to create my cat eye, I'm using my Kat Von D liquid liner in the color Trooper. I'm just going to create the outline of it and then I will go in and fill it in with my gel liner by Inglot. It's number 77 and it is the blackest black. I love it. I really prefer to use a gel liner just because I feel like I can control it a little bit better. Um, I'm still working on becoming a whiz at creating my cat eye. So bear with me. Now to drown out these dark circles, I'm going in with my all-time favorite NYX Dark Circle Corrector. And then over that, I will apply my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Neutral. And as you can see, I went ahead and created my highlight as well as concealed. Now using that same blending sponge, I'm just gonna blend all of this in using patting motions. Now for my contour, I'm using an e.l.f. brush that I picked up, I want to say it was like $3, and I really, really love that brush. To contour the perimeter of my face, I'm using my Wet n Wild Old Faithful, I want to say it's just a fluffy foundation brush, but I'm using my Morphe Contour Palette in 06F. And then I'm actually carving out my nose with my Morphe 173 brush. For blush, I'm using my LA Colors Mineral Blush. I mix two colors, which are Spice Rum and Berry Berry. Now I'm going to set everything and blend it all in using my NYX Set It, Don't Fret It. And then I wanted to go ahead and intensify my cat eye, as you can see. And this has made all the difference with my brows. This is the e.l.f. Brow Gel. It's only $1. You can get it at Target. And before I apply my false lashes, I'm going to tight line my eyes and then put on mascara. Using my Morphe E36 brush, I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eye using a pigment from Makeup Geek in the shade Afterglow. Now for my favorite part, I love a good highlight. I'm actually using a highlight from City Color Cosmetics and I'm applying it to the upper portion of my cheekbones. Um, I'm gonna go pretty intense for the highlight. I like to apply it just above my brow and then just to give my um, brow bone a little bit more of a shimmer and then highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. Then I'll set it all in place using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. For my bold milk chocolate lip, I'm using the shade Pitch, which is a ColourPop lippy stick. And then in the center to highlight it and give it more of a gradient effect, I'm using my glazed lip paint by LA Girl in the shade Whisper. I actually lined my lips with the Lippy Sticks pencil from ColourPop in the shade Ellery, but somehow I didn't get it on camera. So anyway, this is the final look. I hope you love it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I wish you a very happy Valentine's week. Definitely stay tuned because I have more Valentine's week looks coming up. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.